Hey, it's Novel, and I'm hanging out with Rob on Front Row Live. You are a badass. <laughs> your, oh. new, your new <laughs> single, Coattails, is incredible. And it's just like, it, it's just so much energy throughout the entire song. Like, I loved wow. it. I, it caught my attention, like, first like second of it so talk to me a little bit about coattails and just like your creative process for the single yeah um actually fun fact that was actually the very first single i did in the studio with this producer i worked with dave berg with you know articling my new sound mm -hmm. so it was super fun to like now release this record that was like actually the first um record from the album um, so yeah, I basically took like, um, kind of like a year off from being in the studio and I did a lot of like self work. I got out of a crazy relationship and I was done writing like sad, sappy songs. And I was like, I want to really do more empowering, um, you know, anthems for like me, myself, my generation, you know? And so I was like, thinking of like, what were songs that I used to always love to jam into? And it's like, kind of like the early 2000s kind of vibe and, um, I worked with the Black Eyed Peas. That's kind of like how I got my artist name novel um, was through them. And they were always like, you're like a mini Fergie. And, you know, and so I was like, I want to bring like, you know, those back, like the, the trumpets, you know, the music. So, yeah, that was the first record we did, Coattails. And I wanted that one just to be like very confident. So it's just like, I'm the boss. I want to be like, no matter what, you are your own, you know, anthem you're your own boss don't let people tell you what to do you know it's like hold my cigar please like come on so that was like a really fun record that I wanted to put together aside from your new sound I feel like your cadence also changing that was one of the things that was like super like cool to me because like your previous music as you mentioned was more mellowed out mm -hmm. um but like the cadence on on your new sound is just incredible talk to me a little bit about discovering that cadence and being able to write to that because I feel like when you change your sound and your cadence it mm -hmm. also kind of changes the way that you write your lyrics totally 100 percent um it was kind of funny I'm actually like very theatrical as an artist like when I perform I have like dancers my personality is very fun and sassy and I was like I need to start putting this more into my art you know and I started really studying you know kind of like a little bit of like rap like I love Nicki Minaj I love like Gaga like early art pop Fergie Gwen Stefani and those are like major icons and I was like I want to push my limits I want to push myself so I got working with this guy um Gary Bowen who represents like the Lacey this artist Chelsea Collins he's just awesome a and r and he put me in the studio with this producer Dave Berg and I went in I was like super nervous and I was just like I want to bring back you know some some rap I I do a lot of poet writing like poetry and I was like I really want to incorporate that into my music and I want like live horns I want trumpets I want drums because I was like when I perform I'm such a visual artist like when I'm in the studio I already see like the music video the outfits like I can feel it I'm like living in it so it's just like coattails I already see like the whole production like I wanted like hardcore orchestra like it's like hello get my attention that's why I'm like <clears throat> and then just like full-on like dance breaks with fun with the horns like my whole goal was when you hear the music, I wanted people to be able to like feel it, to visualize it themselves um, with each sound and with my writing. So I kind of like really was focusing on that and then just getting my my confidence like back up and uh, just make I wanted my people to hear my music and they feel good, you know, like makes them like when they're getting ready with their girls or they're, you know, getting ready for parties or just even hanging out. It's like, no, I'm a boss. Like I can do anything. So I really wanted to incorporate a lot of fun. And then I'm also very character of a person. So I wanted to really incorporate that in my music. Like I made a word like Allah, which is like, Allah! you know, that I put in like all my tracks will hear it. And it's kind of just like, I like it. Like you go kind of like, you know, Cardi B has that or whatever. <laughs> I was like, I got my. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. And I feel like because you know what you want, how you want it to sound, what instrumentation you want. I feel like usually like artists, it's it's a challenge for them to find a producer that fits for them. 
Uh, but I feel like at the same time, I feel like you challenged the producer himself because I don't know if he's experienced someone like you yeah. as an artist. Um, do you feel yeah. that, how do you feel that the two of you kind of challenged each other in the studio? Well, I'm definitely very like hands-on. Like I kind of like co-produce, like I'm not like on the computer and stuff, but like, I'm like, I hear a trumpet or I hear this going like, woo, woo, woo. like, you know, when I'm in the studio, like I'm like hearing sounds I'm like explaining what I'm wanting so I'm like very hands-on with like my art we definitely push each other there's times where I'm he's like I don't know novel and I'm like okay that's too much <laughs> but then there's times where um yeah we feed off each other and that's what I love even like growing with producers and even writers um I had a writer come and help me as well Monroe she's Canadian also and so she was helping me with this project as well because I love collaborating I love hearing you know other people's ideas as well but in the end it's always like my vision my sound and like my thing so I'm definitely blessed and yeah there's definitely you know sometimes producers you got to push a little bit or there's some producers you don't click with but you don't know until you try but I did this whole album and I'm really really excited to uh, everyone to finally hear the new novel. <laughs> Now, as far as that sound goes, you know, how different was your vocal range? What did you do differently this time around? And was it something that kind of came natural to you? Or did you kind of had, have to teach yourself to kind of sing the ranges that you did for this track? Well, I actually have quite a bit of range. I have an amazing um, vocal coach, Tim Carter. Like he's done, you know, all fifth harmony. He's doing the mass singer. Like he's awesome. I've been working with him for years now. So he's always pushing my, my vocal range and stuff. Um, I mean, in Coattails, I hit like a high C on the bridge. Like I love doing that. But if anything, I probably am just doing a little more rap. So I was like more experimenting more with my character and my tones, maybe more than like my range. Um, so I think that would probably be, um, be the only difference because my other stuff, I was probably singing a lot more mm -hmm. where these ones, my uh, verses are a little more rappy, a little more um, melodic rap or my courses are sung. So I guess that could be the difference. <laughs> and how do you transition from doing some rapping to something more melodic during the same song? Um, and how do you control your voice to be able to do that? I guess... I guess I'm just a natural. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I never really thought about it. I think because I just feel comfortable. I mean, I'm writing for myself. I know I know my limits. I also want to push my limits. So I guess when I'm in the studio, I'm always testing. You know, there's takes where I'm like, oh, that was bad. Or, uh, like, you know, that didn't sound good. <laughs> so I'm definitely human. Um, so, yeah, I think it's just fun experimenting in the studio. And that's what's really cool is working with people that let you, like, you know, go in and be like, this is what I'm thinking. And, you know, can we try this? Maybe that doesn't work. So I think that's what's kind of cool was with writing this album. Now, as far as lyrics go, what kickstarted the writing process for Coattails? Was it a specific lyric or was it a melody? Um, it was actually, I was actually walking my dog. So funny. I had a session coming up and I was just like, you know, I am such an independent, you know, woman. I'm from this small town of like 495 people in Saskatchewan, Prairie Town. And I've always just really been hustling myself. You know, I don't have like a huge team behind me. Everything I do visually is my idea. I do all my styling, um, everything. So I was just like, you know, I'm my own boss. Like I don't need to ride someone's coattails. Um, to get to where I want to be in the end, you push yourself. So that's kind of where the fun idea came. So I was walking my dog and I was like thinking this and I like wrote it in my notes. So when I went into the studio, I was like, I wanted to write this. And I was just kind of looking at LA and how people, you know, kind of really feed off each other. And like, you know, it's just like, who are your true friends? Or do people want something from you? So it was kind of like the whole broad, you know, idea put together for this one. But then I was like, I wanted to make it fun and just like encourage people to like be their own boss and just always have confidence in themselves. And it's cool because, you know, like, like you mentioned, it's like a transition period for you, like you, you kind of rediscovering yourself. Mm -hmm. And I feel like this is your debut. I feel like this is like the debut single. And yeah. like, now that you've kind of discovered who you are as an artist and you've kind of discovered your sound moving forward to this body of work that you mentioned earlier, what, I, like, what, what can fans expect with that? Like, are you looking for an EP? Are you looking for an album? And do you feel like there's going to be a change in sound throughout this record also? 
Yeah, that's a good question. I I mean, I've wrote a whole album. Um, right now, I've just been doing single releases, you know, trying to slowly introduce this new sound to my fans, my novelties. And I mean, next year, right now, I'm just planning on releasing single as single and then maybe halfway through the year, um, release the whole album altogether. But I've definitely like been back in the studio and I've already like pushed my sound already. Like I have this new one called Chips and Dip, which is just everyone's favorite right now. And I'm like, well, I have to release the new stuff. And it's kind of got like a, a Spanish kind of uh, with horns vibe to it. And it's really fun. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely like in the studio, like working on, you know, more material and stuff. So I think my fans, if they, anything they expect is just more sass, more fun, more horn, <laughs> just <laughs> a party. <laughs> <laughs> and the fact that you continue to add these like instruments, like the horns, mm -hmm. um, what really inspired them for you? Like, was it a specific, like, did you hear it from somewhere that you kind of were inspired to kind of add them to your music? Or have you just always been obsessed with these kinds of sounds? I've always been kind of obsessed with these sounds, but a great influence was like Gwen Stefani, Fergie. Um, I remember going through and looking at like their old, you know, live sessions, like, you know, MTV performances and Gwen's got like, you know, the marching band and the fun costumes. And I was like, you know, that's me. Like, I'm such an entertainer. I love that. So I was like, I want to incorporate that more into the music. And right now no one's really doing that. Um, so I was like, kind of, made it a little bit different and fun. So when I started Coattails, I was like, I wanted this whole orchestra sound. And then it was like, dun, dun, dun. and it's like, um, I said, and it's like, listen, and it's kind of like, I was listening to like, hey, Mickey, you're so fun, you're so fun, and blah, 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 you know, those vibes. And then like Gwen Stefani, Holla Backboard, that's my sh, that's my sh. And it's like, kind of like Coattails, like, I don't give a honey who you are. So it was kind of like, they were huge, like influences. That's who I grew up listening to. And Fergie, even how Fergie performs, I'm like very similar, very strong artists on stage. And I was just like, I wanted to bring those, those vibes, those, that genre slowly back. And so I was like, I started when going to the studio and I started, you know, messing around with all these sounds, these horns and it, and it came together nicely. So I was like, I want, this is me. Let's do it. I finally found it. <laughs> I feel like you have to re do some research and really dig into that sound and that style from, from that era to kind of recreate your sound, but at the same time, make it your own and not make totally. it just a nostalgic sound, but it's like a nostalgic, but yet new sound. Like this is totally. my sound. Yeah, this is, I think, and you know, it's funny because a lot of people will send me like, you know, similar artists that sound like that. And then like, they're like, oh, that's, not, this reminded me of you. So I'm like, my fans are slowly starting to understand the new, the new novel and the new sounds. And I'm like, really excited about it. So I'm really grateful for, <laughs> you know, my fans and everyone like, you know, loving it. Cause I wasn't sure it's, it's such a gamble of how people are going to take, you know, new music. I was so nervous um, to draw up the new stuff but super excited at the same time <laughs> well you're doing you're doing it right I, I mean this is incredible even your previous stuff is like awesome but like that this new sound is just like it makes you like let me just put it this way the first time I heard coattails it was on repeat maybe like five times because it's like I can't <gasps> get enough of this like I want it over and over so it, it's I love like that. <laughs> like you don't get that so often with music yeah Hey, thank you. That means a lot. Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> Blushing. I know because I'm like, are people listening? Like, what are they doing? I'll go on like my Spotify, like, ooh, like, you know, and it's so, so cool. And I think trying not to put too much pressure on myself too, because, you know, people can have so much expectations in their art. And I think just realizing, I think a little bit what I've done differently is in the past, I've released like one, two singles a year and just put so much into those singles and then not be full in myself of like mm. expecting more from it. And so this year I was like, you know, I'm just going to drop single after single because you never know. You would think this is your hit or you think this song, yeah. but really other people are like, you know, liking this one and you're like, wow, that's cool. And it, it's, it's really cool to see. It's like almost an experiment. And uh, I'm trying not to like focus so much on the numbers and streams and just release the art and, you know, see where it goes. So I feel like you're too busy to focus on those numbers. Surprise. No. 
<laughs> well, you know, to close us off, like what has been that, the biggest challenge you kind of face in order to get to the sound that, that we hear today? Uh, like the biggest challenge in making the sound or releasing the Just sound? to, like, as far as like your artist development process, like what has been your biggest challenge to be where you're at today? I think the biggest challenge right now is because visually, I think I have, you know, everything kind of, you know, my visions together and my sound I'm definitely working on. Um, probably, you know, just getting it out there and growing my fan base, you know, as organically as possible. And, you know, trying to get as many ears hear the music to believe in what you believe in. And so I think that is any independence, um, you know, little struggle and stuff. So anything that would probably, you know, getting the right recognition, you know, but not wanting, you know, that because it's just like, you don't need that to make your art good you know what I mean so it's just like if anything the struggle would probably yeah just keep grinding and not giving up yeah honestly that would probably be the most inspiring thing is just keep going no matter what that's awesome well congratulations and I definitely can't wait for more music from you this is uh oh, your music you. is awesome and I'm definitely a a new fan so hey and I so appreciate you taking the time to interview me you've interviewed <laughs> viewed some iconic people so <laughs> i'm so grateful <laughs> well i mean you're gonna be next on that list i no. I, I, I can I, see i can see the new year kind of kick-starting with people being like who is this new artist like <laughs> and then all of a sudden the whole world will know so i appreciate that so much so thank you so much